River Rocks Chattanooga is underway. The annual collection of outdoor events to spotlight the natural beauty in the scenic city is nearing their most active weekend. Drew Balea tells us about the events and how you can get involved. Climbing, swimming, running, and biking. River Rocks Chattanooga is putting the city's natural resources on display. Be very busy on the water. Mike Connors is the Chattanooga Head Race Director. This year we're looking at just under 1,500 competitors, about 440 boats that'll be racing. The regatta is part of River Rocks and begins tomorrow morning. The boats will paint a colorful picture on the water as the athletes push and pull for the best time. You kind of need the, the power of a weightlifter at the same time you need the, uh, the finesse of a ballerina. Rowing is grouped with more than a dozen events that put an emphasis on outdoor activities in the Chattanooga region. This is just another leg of the whole you know, fitness movement in town uh, that goes along with the other events that are being held by River Rocks. Really shine a spotlight on Chattanooga and how fantastic we are uh, for outdoor sports. Mark McKnight works with Rock Creek, who is a sponsor and organizer of the festival, and he says River Rocks started five years ago as a way to group different things together, like paddling, running, biking, and make them all visible to the public. There are all these activities that we do that are more or less hidden from, from public view. They're using drones, helicopters, and personal cameras to generate video and ultimately interest in the outdoor games. Trying to compile a lot of that stuff and just show people, hey, look, this is a really fantastic thing. It's interesting to watch. Even more events are wanting Chattanooga. The U.S. Masters and National Open Water Swimming Championships will be coming here in 2017. I'm Drew Balea reporting. On the schedule for tomorrow is four events. The Chattanooga Head Race Regatta, which starts at 8 and runs most of the day. Then there's the Swim the Suck, which goes along the river near Suck Creek Road. The Lula Lake Bike Race, which takes participants through mountain trails. And finally, the High Point Speed Climb, which can be seen from Broad Street at 3 tomorrow afternoon. You can find more details on this weekend's events on our website, newschannel9.com.